Yo, know, what's good guys? How are we doing? I hope you're doing well. We're back with another video, and this time we're going to continue my tutorials on the 4-2-3-1 formation. Last week I uploaded my 4-2-3-1 formation tactics, and you will be able to see that in the link down in the description below, and also I'll link it at the end as well. But for now, we're going to go into detail about why the 4-2-3-1 formation is so strong, and we're going to cover three different sections on the 4-2-3-1, and we're going to talk about why it's such a good formation and why is it so versatile and why it allows you to use your four attacking players to be flexible with your attacks and create goal scoring opportunities we're going to cover four different things the key key thing that you're going to see across all these sections that we're covering are passing angles and triangles what this formation does it allows you to increase the number of options you have to use when your player's got the ball and use passing as a triangles and across the sections we're going to cover which are flexibility up front patience and free balls not in that particular order but it's going to be a key key underlining feature in all the videos is the passing angle of the triangles in the 4231 and how to utilize them to be good with few balls create more opportunities for through balls and score goals for free balls have flexibility up front to create goal scoring opportunities for your strikers and being patient with your play to create goal scoring opportunities. The key key thing, and I keep emphasizing it here, is goal scoring opportunities. We want to use this formation to break down our opponent, especially now in the game because everyone plays so deep, so many men back. You want to be able to create chances for your attackers to score, and we're going to show you how. Section one, we're going to talk about free balls and passing through the lines of opposition pressure. What we're going to show you here is the best time to use the free ball. Free ball is not used that much in the middle of the park and when you're in defence because it's really easy to lose a ball. But if used correctly, it is a really effective way to create goal score opportunities and get your players through to be able to shoot or create space in behind your opponent. And obviously, break through the lines of opposition pressure. So let's get into the video and let's show you some footage. So we're starting from the back here. One of the big things with free balls is it's, it's great on the counter attack. Um, straight away, I'm gonna show you a, a triangle I'm looking at. You can see I've seen the play here. We've passed it into Neymar. The triangle's there. Straight away, I've seen that Mbappe's making that run. We've played it through to him. A little bit lucky there, but a little ball roll back into Neymar and we scored. So that's one example of how you get through with the free ball and use it to break the opposition pressure and um, get through and go to score a goal. The next one here again, you know, we've got a triangle here, we're ready to go. I, I'm, I'm looking at what I'm doing. We see that we've got the ball with Mbappe. You see the space for Neymar. We wait, hold the ball. On this occasion, the AI, AI has done that independently. We've just waited for the AI to make that run. Sin is doing it, kept the ball and then played it through with the free ball. So free ball is triangle and Y on the Xbox, just in case you're wondering. There again, another opportunity, lovely through ball, cheeky ball roll and flick up there. I'll cover that in a video in the future how to do that. Um, but, you know, obviously we're looking at through balls here. Again here, I'm highlighting the different triangles on the pitch. Make sure you are looking at the pitch and highlighting in your brain where the triangles are. You want to be one to two and sometimes three passes ahead. So if you can keep looking at the triangles, it will work for you. There we see the gap set Maxim on the wing. We see the space in front of him, we play in front of him, and we work it back in. A little bit fortunate there when it comes back into Neymar, but we keep the ball and score. Here's another example. Got it with set Maxim, we recycle it, keep hold of it, you know, being patient. We play it to the Bruyne area, and you see the space in front of set Maxim here. We've got a triangle here, we keep the ball into Mbappe, the space is there, play it in front of him. You know, we run down, down to the byline. We don't we don't sweat it there, we hold it, we keep into it, you know, keep the ball in, in his feet, work it back inside, play it into Mbappe, turn, shoot. We were fortunate there, we kept the ball and scored, but again, you can see how we use the free ball and the space in front of our players to create an opportunity to either have a goal scoring opportunity or work it back into the box. Again there, easy, easy free ball there to set Maxim for a goal, through on goal, first shot scored. 
A, we win the ball back, we quickly break, we have the ball, set Maxim's got the space in front of him, we play it in front of him, and again there, and Bappi's making the run through, we play it in front of him. The key thing you're seeing here is you're looking for the space in front of the players and using through ball when the players have got space in front of them. That is the best time to use through ball, and it's just a case of keeping out and spotting these areas. The different things you can do, you can trigger runs with R1, R, R, B on the Xbox to make them make runs like that, for example. Um, on, on here, you'll see different occasions where I use R, B, R, R1. On some occasions, the AI will make the runs themselves, but it's just about balancing it and looking out for the runs and the space in front of them and utilising it. Again, here, we use a triangle. You see it there, the triangle to De Bruyne and Fernandino into Mbappe. We play it back again. You see the triangle, we used it, played it back to De Bruyne. You can see the space there. I can see that. I can play it in front of him. I've spotted the triangle. We've done a 1 2 there with Mbappe and Neymar. How you do that is your down right button, or R1, and press X or A on the Xbox to trigger a 1 2 pass, and they'll make the run. Again, there, nice and simple. Back into Neymar, and we score. And there we go. That is how to use the free ball. And again, you saw all that came from looking at the pitch, being one to two steps ahead of what you're going to do before you do it, utilizing the triangles and the angles on the pitch and creating more opportunities for your players to pass it and giving them options on who to pass it to by doing that. And then using the free balls, like I said, what we, what we covered, make sure when you use a free ball, they have got space in front of them to run onto. There's no opposition players there. They've always got space in front of them, which means it's reducing the risk of you losing the ball and increasing the opportunity for you to score or create a goal scoring opportunity or work it back into the middle, as you saw with the, when we went down the byline and down the wing and went to back inside. Next, we're going to move on to flexibility up front and using all the areas of the final third to create space for your attackers. So, we'll jump into some footage now and talk about how we do that. Right, on this footage, you're going to see numerous different clips of how I use all areas of pitch to create attacking opportunities. You're going to see us working through the middle, like in this example here, utilising the cam and the lamp, the ramp and the striker to create a ghost opportunity. And also utilising the wing plate and running down the wings and working back inside. Here you can see we use Neymar down the wing, which is the cam. We use that space to create space in the middle. We're dragging his players out of position. In this occasion, he's pressing while he's no space. And I just highlighted there for Nadine on the space in front of him. We usually see the M's if he's no nothing on, if you've got no players on, pass it back to CDMs, work that space. Again, I highlighted the triangle for you there. You know, here we could have played it into Neymar there, but we didn't. We baited him with the playmaker the run, turned back in and it's got a nice goal with set Maxim there. Here you're seeing us working, we're using the fullback, bringing the fullback into play, running down with Tellers. Again, just being patient, keeping the ball, waiting, waiting for that run. A little free ball, again a free ball there on the wing. Waiting, playing it back inside, a little ball roll and a nice, nice finish there from Neymar. You know, again, utilising the width there to pull these players out of position. Here's a great example of how using triangles in your own third to create play i've seen that there i'm waiting and then we utilize it we use the angles and the triangle work between them three players create the run there we've, we've triggered the run by doing the rb a or i'll have one x pass and we've worked it down the wing we're pulling these players out of position there again, as you saw, very similar to the previous example, we worked it back to Finale and the CDM because he had space in front of him and nothing on. And doing that, pulled his players out of position and created the space for our striker to score. One of the key things you want to be doing with the flexibility and using all areas of final third is pulling your opposition players out of play, out of position. You want to make your opponent make a decision they don't want to make because obviously people sit back like this guy is sitting back using cdm moving around he doesn't want to make a decision he wants to what you to make a mistake but using all the areas of pitch being patient then allows you to find gaps in the opposition defense to play it into your striker and like they were played it into mbappe there was plenty of space either side we turned to his right that time and shot near post and scored again here utilizing the width passing it back to the cdm using the cdms all the time in this in this occasion a bamiyang takes a little cdm because he's swapping with fernandinho then we're using the triangles, playing it around again here. You see, both CDMs have got space, so we pass it back to him. Patient, waiting for him to all players out of position. He's using his CDM there, but in doing that, and we're pulling his players out of position, we're creating that space for our strikers to run into a little bit of nice left hit dribbling from Mbappe. 
he makes the decision to bring his defender out. We move past him and score there. Here's another example again, you know, being being patient. We got lucky there, kept the ball. But nothing's on. So work it back out to the work the wing. Pull the players out of position. Look for the triangles. On this occasion, we've got two triangles here. That's really difficult to defend against because he doesn't know if you're going to call Neymar or Mbappe. Giving you the opportunity to choose which one you go to. On that occasion, we saw the space was with the striker there. We played it into him, turned and scored. Plenty of space for him to use it, use there and, and create a goal opportunity and, and get us um, another goal. Again here, patient with the CDM, working our way up, keeping the ball, waiting. Playing it back to the CDMs again, Fernandino De Bruyne, fully involved. Here you see another triangle here, using the Aubameyang, using the CDM. You know, we've got it to Mbappe there, turned in, shoot and scored. So, the main thing I think you probably pulled from all that was how we created space in the middle of the park. Obviously, everybody plays deep now. Everyone uses the, the CDMs to defend. Um, you've got, there's a lot of players back sometimes you've got two banks of four sometimes even people bring the strikers back so make sure you are using all the areas of the final third to pull the players out of position one thing I do when I'm using formation my key objective is to get it into my striker which is Mbappe at the moment and I want to give him as much space in that box or in around the two centre backs where he has opportunity to turn left or right and shoot so if that means playing the ball back to your CDMs to pull the players out of position, make in your opponent make a decision and make that mistake, the wrong decision, pull player out of position, make a tackle when they don't when when they shouldn't, giving you the space to utilize for your striker. Obviously the other example was using the width, using the byline to stretch out your opposition of defence. Then working it back into the middle once you've done that and utilising the space with the centre backs or in the little gap between the CDMs and centre backs to create a goal score opportunity and score. Right, we are on to my favourite section and the final section of the video, patience. A key, key thing in FIFA is patience and not getting frustrated and retaining possession in tight areas as you see on screen. One of the things that you need to do is be patient on this game. Do not get frustrated. Do not make mistakes. You need to recycle your play. A key word, patience and recycle go hand in hand. If the pass is not on, recycle, recycle, recycle and be patient. I've got to show you now a few different video clips of where everything we've just shown you is brought together to create a goal score opportunity and being patient, recycling the play allows us to do that. There are going to be occasions where the opponent presses you very well and you're going to have to utilise this and wait until you get the chance to obviously shoot or score or create opportunity. So in these clips, I'm not going to pause them. I'm just going to let them play through. These are examples of where my opponent is defending really well and I've had to work it back on a lot of occasions and utilise every single player on the pitch to create a goal score opportunity. You can see this, this occasion here, he's pressing very well, he's, he's bringing all his players over, he's pushing me. I'm making sure that I'm using my CDMs, I'm using my lamb, I'm using my camp. We're going back to the CDMs, recycling the play, using the triangles, being patient. You can see here, he's pressing really well. We're bringing the full back into play here. Again, stretching the opponent out, going back inside to the CDM, waiting for that opportunity, looking using the triangles, both CDMs fully utilised here, into the cam, patient again, back to the CDM, we see the gap return, we run into it, and now you see the gaps, you see the gaps occurring in his defence, that's when you strike. As soon as you see the opponent move his players out of position, make rash decisions, that's when you make the decision to attack. On this occasion, he actually presses really well, as you can see here, we're looking to keep the ball, but we do turn, we keep the presser on, Luckily, to get the ball back, but because He's getting frustrated. He's pulled his defence completely out of line, which allows us to turn and shoot like that. Here again, you can see us working it from the back, utilising the triangles, being patient, going back inside, back to the left back. I said using full backs is key as well, um, and being patient, recycling your play. Recycle, 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 until that opportunity is there for you to strike and go for the goal scoring opportunity and making the most of the play in the final third, utilising your four forwards. Again here, back in back into Neymar, we're waiting, we're patient, there's nothing on, back to Fernandinho, patience again, it's pressing as well, just keeping the ball, you know, 
reacting well under pressure as well. On that occasion there, we don't score, but you know it's a great example how we kept the ball and created a goal opportunity. A little bit of better decision making there, and I probably would have scored that. Here we run into a Bamiyang. We could have gone straight down the line, but we didn't. We come back inside. Um, I saw the gap, but he pressed as well. We've gone from one side of the pitch to the other. Here we're stretching him out. We set Maxim. He's pulled two defenders there and his CDMs over to that side of the pitch, creating the space in the middle of the park. And that's all we're doing. We're just waiting for him to give us opportunities to go back inside. And there we use the CDM into Mbappe. He's got Mbappe as one on one with the centre back there because of what we've done. We have pulled his players over to that side of the park to allow Mbappe to be one on one with a defender. And in that situation, Mbappe is going to win every time if you make the right decision. Again here, another, another example of being patient with the play, building it up, using the angles, using the triangles, using the width, using three balls, using one-two passes with your players. You know, it, it, you see the same thing, the same pattern over and over again. And if you can get that into your brain when you're playing, looking for these patterns, looking for these angles and triangles, recycling the play, it, it will become second nature to you and you will do it instinctively without even thinking about it. Now again there, using the triangle patient, creating the space for De Bruyne. Holding the ball with a camera, De Bruyne is here in the play. Patience, there's not really much on. Back to the other CDM, we'll wait, we want to pull the player out, he's done it. Create the space there into the cam. Back to CDMs again, waiting, moving the play up. Now we go wide, we'll bring it back inside, and then we're using the width here, and we go back inside, the chance is there, quick one-two pass, into Mbappe, a little bit of patient dribbling here, nothing's on, so we'll go back, a little skill move, there's a gap, Neymar's one-on-one -on -one with the centre-back, and we strike and we score. So, no we didn't score, I'm wrong, we got a corner from it, but I'm pretty sure we create a goal score opportunity from this corner, yeah we do, we pass it here, pass it into set Maxim, patient from the corner as well, and there we go, we got the goal eventually, but... I think the key thing we got from that is we combined everything there that we've learned from this video. It's using through balls, using the passing angles and triangles, having the flexibility up from creating space for your strikers, working it so your striker is one-on-one -on -one with a centre-back, or if they're not one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, they've got the space either side where they can move into to create a goal opportunity and score. I hope that helps. Um, I really enjoyed doing this video. I find it really interesting. I, watching back about 40 games roughly and, and watching how I play, I didn't actually realise how much I utilised passing angles and triangles. It, it's literally a fundamental part of my tactic and how I play in game. What I did actually do on the back of this was I went and did some research on real world football coaching and tactics and looked at the footage you want and what to talk about in, in football in real life. And what I did find interesting about it was how it is utilised in this way in real life. It's all about flexibility, using the angles of triangles, using your throw attackers to be flexible and exploit the opposition and then create goal score opportunities. The only thing that it didn't really cover in FIFA that they do in real life is using your fullbacks um, and having them attacking in the play. But unfortunately, FIFA, when you have fullbacks on balance and attacking, they make silly runs and they don't really get involved in the play that I would like them to. So we can't do that. But I just thought it was good to see how they've got it right when it comes to the 4 2 3 1 and how it works in real life. And it's probably why it's been so prominent over FIFA 19 and this FIFA because. A lot of pro players use it because it is so flexible. It does allow you to mix your play up, be unpredictable. And that's the key word, unpredictability. If your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do and you're utilising the centre of the park, the bylines, the left side and the right side, using the CDMs, it's very difficult for your opponent to defend against that and make the right decisions and stop you creating goals, cupping chances. But yeah, there we go. That is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I have noticed that 80% of you are watching these videos, absorbing the content but not a subscriber. Please, please subscribe, it really does help support the channel and we really do need to push towards that 1000 subscriber goal and keep this channel going in the right direction. I'm loving producing content for you. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you think of the video, did it help you? Did you see some elements that you use in your play? Um, comments really do help shape the future videos as well. Let me know what you want to see next. And that is the end of it, guys. Have a great week. Good looking week, league, and I'll see you in the next video.